एवरी वन वेलकम यूर वॉचिंग द वीकली एडिशन ऑफ योर ट्रेड ऑन ई टी नाउ अ शो वे वी ट्रैक ऑल द की डेवलपमेंट फॉर द वीक अर्निंग ड्राम एंड बेस्ट स्पेच यू आर फॉर द नेक्स्ट वीक दिस इज प्रियंका ओपन अलॉन्ग विद मी इसमें ही शास में ही स्टार्ट द वीक विद अ वेरी गुड स्टार इन फैक्ट टेक्निकल एक्सपर्ट एंड द गेस्ट फॉर आर शो टू डे राजेश पाल वी आर हेड ऑफ टेक्निकल एंड डेरेवेटिव रिसर्च एट एक्सेस सिक्योरिटीज एंड ऑल्सो वी बींग ज्वाइन बाई विनीत बोलन सर हेड ऑफ रिसर्च एट वेंचुरिया सिक्योरिटीज जेंटलमैन थैंक्स सो मच फॉर टेकिंग द टाइम आउट एंड स्पीकिंग टू आर्स टूडे लेट्स स्टार्ट विद यू राजेश Let me come to you first and help us understand the kind of moves we've seen over the course of this week that went by in the markets. And you know, at some point when the global handover was weak, we've done pretty well. Uh, Friday morning, when the global handover was rather strong and the implied open was indicating a gap up start, that fizzled off today. Sensex down almost 1,000 points on Friday as well. So help us understand that in a market like this, where Wix is spiking, what sense do you make of a market like this? How should one play the market or navigate? in the market right now see okay. so uh, looking at uh, the market structure yes uh, there was a volatility in market uh, but uh, if you analyze the structure for market it's uh, still in the bullish trajectory uh, though we uh, are witnessing that you know nifty uh, is moving in up sloping channel that clearly shows uh, on a weekly chart that clearly shows that you know sustain uptrend is uh, there in the market Uh, there is a spike in VIX, but still, uh, if we analyze the data, uh, still uh, it's in comfort zone. Uh, uh, VIX is uh, now trading near to 14 or 15 zone. So, but again, you know, uh, uh, it's again, you know, if it's uh, remain below to 16 kind of level, then there is no as such worry in terms of uh, spiking in the VIX. Yes, uh, there would be volatility in the market, but uh, again, the broader market uh, is clearly showing the strength, as uh, most of the sectors are still uh, showing the buying interest. the way uh, most of the stocks have uh, shown the strength uh, in the current week also that uh, is uh, giving us confidence that you know uh, going forward also we can see a bullishness uh, to remain continue for the market for nifty the important support here based on the put concentration is placed at around 22200 22300 these uh, until uh, these levels are not breaks below uh the trend is likely to remain on the bullish side buy on dip should be your strategy until the 22200 is intact on the downside on the higher side once uh, again you know nifty manages to cross about 22600 zone then uh, these really can extend further though we have registered uh, all time high trajectory also in this week so this is a normal behavior whenever you reach to the all time high trajectory uh, some profit taking always uh, happens in the market the same behavior we have seen uh, in the market today itself so i think uh, there is no worry in terms of trend of market even for the bank nifty also trend is also uh, on the bullish side uh, there is a still out performance if we compare with the nifty there is a still out performance from the bank uh, nifty for this week and looking at the overall structure till bank nifty is holding above 48600 uh, buy on dip should be your strategy and once uh, be able to take out uh, 49400 500 zone on the bank nifty then we can see a uh, further higher level for the bank nifty towards 50000 even uh, 50400 also so both indices are still uh, uh, very well holding the ground on the short to medium term structure so buy on dips uh, one should adopt uh, at this moment means there is chance of pullback and in fact you would buy the dip that's what you're saying rajesh all right uh, please take uh, rajesh uh, my next question will be to you so there's been a famous saying that in may sell away and uh, sell in may and go away is that what could play in further days also because there was there's one part of the argument uh, is that maybe they can be volatile moves throughout the may month but since you said they can be a pullback also anticipated for coming week but then how should one approach the entire may series i think uh, if we analyze with the uh, derivative data uh, there is no as such uh, you know a worry sign uh, in terms of uh, derivative data most of the sectors are still holding the ground and the way rollover uh, happened for the may series that clearly shows that you know for may series uh, we are going to have a uh, uh, you know a higher close compared to the previous month and uh, we are projecting target towards 23200 for may series Uh, so uh, on the downside 22100 uh, is the key level for the may series so till these levels are intact uh, trend is likely to remain on the bullish side uh, the sectors where we are focusing at this moment for may series uh, that is automobile uh, banking uh, banking and finance 
uh, then power space is also looking promising metal space is also looking promising so these all sectors are clearly showing a, a good strength and the long built up is clearly there in all these sectors so we expect that you know these all sector can uh, deliver good uh, really in this uh, um, may month also so i think uh, one should uh, use uh, this volatility to buy and accumulate uh, good quality stocks in this decline and again you know uh, we are optimistic that you know again we could uh, uh, you know again resume uptrend and possible target uh, for may series could be towards 23000 to 23200 also all right rajesh thanks so much for that view vinit i'm going to Welcome back. Uh, you're watching Your Trades, uh, and now time for Rajesh to tell us a uh, few of our recommendations. Uh, Rajesh, you have a valid point because we know uh, there is a chance for pullback because the key support levels for Bank Nifty, and in fact, Nifty also managed to close above 20 DMA. The whole week we saw uh, mid cap at least holding on to its ground of about half a percent of the green. Now, uh, what would you recommend? Which stocks will make it to your radar? Uh, do they have to be from small, broader mid cap and small cap space, or do you see opportunities from large cap also? So it's a big stack kind of uh, stock ideas uh, for the uh, coming week. First one is from Midcap, that is Orient Electric. Uh, whole sector Tenwind is uh, working here and uh, looking at the structure for Orient Electric now, stock managed to hold about 20 to 50 day moving average. The way stock has moved up in last uh, couple of weeks, we believe that you know this action can continue further. 255 to 260 could be the possible target uh, in short period of time. So Orient Electric is by with stop loss of uh, Two one or two twenty. The second stock is uh, again uh, Piramal Enterprises. Uh, this is the second consecutive week uh, where the stock is forming higher high low formation. Stock is now very much uh, very well holding about to its uh, near term short term moving averages. The way stock has recovered and managed to give breakout of uh, uh, last uh, few week consolidation range that clearly shows that you know uh, and long built up is already there in derivative data also for. Uh, uh, today's session. So we expect uh, this momentum can extend further. 985, 990 could be the possible target. One can buy Piramal Enterprises with stop loss of 945. And the third stock is from oil marketing company. Uh, most of the oil marketing companies are doing good. HPCL is uh, looking promising. The way stock managed to give record of uh, five week consolidation range. Uh, clearly, uh, series on series, if we compare the open interest, uh, it's a long built up setup for. Of, of BPCL as well as for the HPCL. So we like HPCL at this moment and we like, uh, we believe that you know, HPCL can extend its gain towards 555, 565. So one can buy this stock with stop loss of 526. All right, Rajesh, thanks so much for sharing your picks with 